Hello, my name is Brendan Lynn, and I am here to say that the X Factor has produced some of the worst, untalented, terrible musicians ever made. They're not talented, and they are not, in any sense, iconic. They never will be. I'm not here to say that the X Factor is a terrible show, because it's not that bad. It's very entertaining. The auditions have produced many laughs and it's going to be on YouTube for many years, which we will watch on be on a TV show one day. But the people who win, people who get down to the final five, are not talented. They are not talented and they will not be remembered. And I know people will be shouting at me saying at this precise moment, what about JLS? What about One Direction? Alexandra Burke, Shane Ward, Leona Lewis, they've done really well out of it. Okay, that's five people out of five series. What about the other five? Anyone remember them? Really? First one who won it, Steve. You're doing things in pubs now. Second series, it's Shane Ward. He hasn't done anything. Not really, he lasted another about a year and a half. Forgotten up, got forgotten about. Little Mix, they don't know, really. They only won it last series. And now they're just it's ridiculous. They're not remembered anymore because they don't fit the system. People are probably wondering, what's the system? The system is what the music industry tends to be nowadays. The first part of the system for the X Factor was probably JLS. They didn't win. They came second, but the point is they fitted the system. The system is having a, a couple of lads that are reasonably good looking and uh, can hold a tune, and that's all you need to be. They're not talented. They just have to be that, reasonably good looking and hold a tune. They're not talented. I know people are shouting at me, particularly my cousin, if she's watching this, she, she'll be shouting at me saying that you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what you're talking about, they're so talented, they're the best thing that's ever happened to the world. Are they? Really? Do JLS write their own songs? No. Do they choreograph their own dance routines? No. They're probably told what to wear, because that's part of the system. And this is what the system is. And the system is that you're replaceable. You'll have your, you'll have your place in the spotlight for about, if you're lucky, four or five years, then you'll be replaced. JLS haven't split up because they think it's the right thing to do. They've probably been told to split up because the limelight has now gone over to One Direction. They are the new icon. They are the new system. They are the new part of the system. But they're even worse than JLS because they are the exact same. People are probably going to say in JLS, One Direction, completely different bands, completely different bands. Why? Why are they completely different? The only probably real difference between them is that all of One Direction are white and JLS are black, and that's the real and the main difference. The songs are the same, the dances are the same. You used to see JLS doing Children in Need, Comic Relief, stuff like that, now that's only One Direction. And they'll be doing that for five years until they're replaced by who's going to be the next one. Maybe Union J. I'm not saying it will be, but there'll be a band like that. Bands that are part of the system. They don't do anything. They do not write their own songs, they do not write their own routines, they are told what to do, and the person in charge of this system is Simon Cowell. He gets people who are exactly the same, good looking, who can hold this tune a bit, and they're packaged. But he's just a businessman, that's what he does. And no respect to him. He's found a way to make money, and if people are going to fall for it, go for him. Because he's making money. But One Direction, I think compared to the Beatles, the Beatles, the most famous band that ever existed, probably the most best band that's ever come out of Britain, and they're being compared to One Direction. That is appalling. The Beatles formed together in Liverpool. They formed together, they got a few gigs and gradually made their way up, got their name known, and went on to dominate the world. One Direction have not done that. They were packaged. They, didn't, they weren't even together. The X Factor, the system put them together. At least with JLS, they were already together, so the system didn't have to do anything. But they were all put together because of the system. 
and that's how it works. I mean, look at this. This is Abbey Road, one of the most famous albums ever made by the Beatles, and this picture is known to music pe music lovers all around the world. Now, if anyone's watching this and saying, oh, isn't that the picture that One Direction did? You should be ashamed of yourself. This is an iconic album, an iconic picture of one of the most greatest bands that ever existed. One Direction are not worthy to do what they did. Popularity does not make you good or talented. Being famous and popular does not mean you're talented. It's like videos on YouTube. If I got a picture of a YouTube uh, of like a, a rabbit that started to bite a guy's ass, it'd probably get half a billion views on YouTube. And people say, oh, it's hilarious and it's funny. It'd be famous and it'd be popular. But does that mean it's good? Does that mean it'd be reasonable? That means it's really quality entertainment? Not really. Not at all. But I'd sooner watch that than watch One Direction. Because they're just part of the system. What really bugs me is these bands aren't unique. They're not unique in any sense. What have they done that's completely unique? What have they done that no other band has done? Please tell me. I really want to know. You can't. Because they haven't. They haven't done anything that no other band has done. Yes, they have. They dominated America. They dominated America. Plenty of bands have dominated America without the help of the system. But One Direction, they are part of the system. And there are some decent, decent bands. Brilliant bands. that should be known worldwide. Kings of Leon. Muse. These are two brilliant bands. They're talented. They write their own music. And they have full control of what happens at their concerts. Do One Direction have control? No, they don't. It's what the producers want, it's what the managers want, because that's part of, that's right, the system. And that's how the music industry works nowadays. And it's terrible. And the people who win the X Factor that are part of the system have forgotten about. Alexandra Burke, she fitted it for a bit. She's not really doing that much now. The only Lewis she's had a day, not really remembered. Little Mix, we've done nothing. No, there's still time, okay, there's still time for them to do something, but they haven't done all yet. Usually bands that are part of the system usually make a big impact. But then they've forgotten about and they'll be replaced. And that's how it works. I just, I would have instant respect for One Direction if they said, we know we're not talented, we're just part of the system, and we're making money off it, and that's what we're doing. I'd have respect for them if they did that. I'd be like, well, at least you know you're not talented. Oh, then there's like Jedwood. Jedwood. The worst thing the X Factor has ever produced. What do they do? Okay, they're twins and they're annoying. And that's packageable. That's part of the system. It's like Tawi. With, with fake, we're all thick. So that's part of the system. You should be famous for being thick. It makes me... People out there who have to do jobs, really hard jobs to help their families live, and they're getting money and popularity because they're thick. It's ridiculous. I absolutely hate that. I refuse to watch the tally. I'm glad I don't watch it. The only, I can name two people of it, probably. Amy Wright and Matt. No, Amy Charles and Mark Wright. That's about it. That's only because I watch celebrity news. Now, that is funny. Oh yeah, you're probably saying, oh, how could you say you don't like stuff like that, like Tawi, and you want a celebrity juice? Because celebrity juice doesn't take itself seriously. Keith Lemon, Lee Francis, he, he, he's just taking the piss. It's almost like he's taking the piss out of everyone, and that's funny. And then you've seen Bo Selector, that was hilarious. Because he knows what he's doing, he's not doing all, he's just taking the piss. And Lee, Keith Lemon sort of like become the saint of rabbles. You tell people, he's not real. Don't say that. He's real, he's real, he's real. No, he's not real, is it? He's a persona by Lee Francis, who's from Leeds, West Yorkshire. Big up West Yorkshire. Hey, well, that's my talk. Yeah, I don't care if you dislike this video or not, really. I'm just here to tell you the truth. If you don't like it, tough shit. I've been Brendan Lynn. Goodbye.